Now, please give me the pleasure of being able to introduce our wonderful speaker of today. Jenny Seeley is a lifelong resident of Hampton Roads and has been a realtor for over 37 years. Jenny has been a member of the chapel since August 2019 and serves as the vice president of the board of directors. She is a student with the Morris Pratt Institute and has completed the healing portion to be on her way to becoming a commissioned healer. She's also currently on a path of service with the Metaphysical Chapel of Life to become a minister under the expituous, the, oh, I'm messing this word up a speechless of the Church of Enlightenment. She's also following the path of angelic healing practitioner and works with many spirit angels and guides in her healing. Her main focus in healing is clearing emotions that no longer serves one and are considered trapped, releasing them from one's DNA. She's a teacher and a trance medium and holds development circles and classes in her home in Chesapeake. During the summer of Jenny's place, she and other healers offer spiritual healing in her pool. She enjoys being introduced to all kinds of philosophies that open her mind to all the possibilities and loves sharing her experiences with others to do the same. She walks in love of this great infinite universe and she has a powerful message for us today and we wanna receive it. Please welcome Reverend Jenny Seeley. Thank you, Rashonda. I need to change that a little bit now because I am a minister and no longer serve on the board of directors. But, you know, I'll update that and, and get it a little bit uh, simplified. <laughs> but anyway, so today I'm excited to share with you the faces of God. Now, just recently, you know, I love this Wednesday morning study group, The Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn. And it is so interesting to be able to do this study. So on day 297, we were introduced to the faces of God. It refers to Matthew chapter 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So this is uh, this book of mystery is a story about a teacher and a student walking in a desert to uncover the mysteries of God. The student was looking into a water puddle and saw his reflection. And the teacher then went over his shoulder and he could see both of them, him and the teacher. So the teacher began to talk about imagine. Just imagine if you could see the face of God. He went on to explain in Hebrew, the word for face is panim. Since the word ends in I am, it is plural. And so it means the faces of God. And the face is not the essence of the person, right? But just the appearance is the face. It is how you recognize one another. It's how I recognize you. It's how you know me. You, it's how you see God through many different faces, right? I love the verse description in the Message Bible, which I've never heard of the Message Bible, but found it online. You are blessed when you get inside in, okay, let me start over again. Matthew chapter five, verse eight, you're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and your heart put right, then you can see God in the outside world. Isn't that true? Don't we know that's true? If we're right in our own heart, if we're seeing love and light, if we're being of love and light, yes, we see that all over the place. It's natural law. You bring it to yourself, right? So we know it's true. Since we understand that God lives inside of us in our group, we understand that we can see God in everyone else, right? We see God in the blessings we have received. We see God in the love of all those around us. We see it in the encouragement that we get from others in a time of need. Today, I'm experiencing the blessing of a face of God helping me with some personal issues in my life. So we see it in the grace that we receive 
when we act as the face of God, right? So in my mediumship classes, I always teach that we are connected to this higher power, to this God source. Surely, thank you for teaching me this to our wise person within us. I love that that one class. Surely, I can't tell you how many times I've used that over and over and over again in my classes to connect to that wise person within us, which we refer to as our higher self, our God source. I, it's there and it wants the best for us and it wants us to stand in our tree. It is always there and it doesn't matter, matter whether we're tuned into it or we're not tuned into it. It's there. It's our tree. So the bottom line is that we are blessed when we get into our inside world, right? That's where the blessings are. Your mind and your heart is in the right space then you can see God in everything around you. And that is a great feeling. Even when you see something that maybe not is quite is a God source, you can still see God in that. Um, just recently, I um, attended a fair. Most of y'all know it was Hippie Fest, but I attended a fair in Lexington, North Carolina. Now, I didn't know really what people were saying is like we were in the middle of the Bible belt. Well, I didn't really understand that what that meant until I encountered it. <laughs> so it was, I encountered someone that saw me as a person giving mediumship reading as delivering messages from the devil. Wow. I hadn't heard that in quite a while because we're in this great space of love and light and of like mind. So we don't quite think that way. Right. So it was actually a blessing, though, because I was in the right space in my mind, in my heart, that I could really see God within her. I explained that all of our messages are about God's unconditional love and nothing else. And when you're able to be in that unconditional love, you feel the grace of God, the grace that's there for each and every one of us, right? That weekend was full of God's grace, full of God's work through mediumship. So many people, so many people knew, knew in their heart the truth of who they really are, but knowing it didn't fit into their family beliefs into their knowing, into their teachings, but they knew inside of them that they were unconditional love. So to me, to be able to share the information with them that, hey, they're okay. You are okay. It's okay for you to stand in your truth, even though it doesn't go along with the beliefs of all those around you. To me, that's true mediumship. The gift of giving information from the other side of life that it's full of love, full of light, compassion, and understanding. That is mediumship. Sometimes it gets a little boring that it's all about love, 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 love. But I just was introduced the, uh, to a podcast the other day that says, what do you expect? They're in a place of unconditional love. Wouldn't you expect that all the messages be of love? Because that's where they're at. So I understand that a little bit more and I embrace the love, the light, compassion, understanding the grace that's in all the messages from mediumship. Just yesterday, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. I had the honor to teach a laying on hands healing training class for our chapel, the Metaphysical Chapel of Life. Then we offered a healing service with all the students. There were eight student healers offering healing. They stood there in pure of heart, offering to be a channel of God's healing love. Man, you couldn't even ask for anything better than that. You want to talk about seeing faces of God? It makes me emotional just thinking about it. So in this lesson, it goes on to say, when you allow your life, to be used as a vessel of his love and your heart to be used by his spirit, 
then when people look at you, they too will see the face of God. Then when you look at your reflection, you are seeing the many faces of God, right? All of our different faces, faces of God. So the study and the study, I get, you know, I have a little bit of ADHD, whatever. So the study before the faces of God was about the time of harvest. And that was really interesting, especially since we're in the autumn harvest time. For every time there is a season, there are times of harvest. And if you don't reap the time of harvest at the right time, the season will pass and the time and chance you had to reap will be passed. With each person that comes into your life, there is a specific time and a season, sometimes a reason, right? They will not be there forever. They come into your life, they leave, they come back, they leave for good, they leave this planet Earth, and one day you'll leave this planet Earth. And then you will pass from this world, no longer able to reap any other harvest of this natural life. So what it was telling us is don't delay. Don't delay in showing your love. Don't delay in forgiving or asking to be forgiven, right? Don't delay in blessing those around you. Show them your face of God every day. So the mission today, I'll sum it up with the mission. The mission today is to make it your aim to see the face in God and all their appearances, and to be one of them to others. Can we do that? I think all of us live in that light and love of the world today, where we strive our hardest to be that face of God to everyone we encounter, even with a smile, whatever you need to do to be that face of God. And always, always, always remember, Matthew 5, 8 from the Message Bible. You're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind, your heart, your mind, body, and soul put right. Then you can see God and everything that surrounds you and the blessings and the struggles in all things that surround you. So that is my message for you today. See those faces of God all around you and revel in them. So I'll leave you with that message from God, right? <laughs> so thank you guys. I appreciate you allowing me to serve. That was an amazing message and you have no idea how much it hit me personally. Oh, thank you. I know it hit me just before I came online and I'm like, wait a minute, I can't be lecturing crying. <laughs> but, you know, there was just a Facebook post. I have to say this because we have time, you know, I, I have to tell, there was a Facebook post the other day talking about a woman on an airplane and she had a crying baby and you know how we all feel about crying babies on airplanes, right? <laughs> we do place some judgment on those poor moms that are just trying to keep them quiet, right? And they're stressed. We've all been there when our babies are crying, right? And so um, a woman sat in front of her and the woman asked, can I hold the baby? And so she did, I'm going to cry about this. And so she held the baby and she walked the whole flight and calmed the baby down and the baby was sleeping. And so the woman said, thank you. The mom said, thank you for being my angel today to be the answer to my prayer. And the other woman said, no, honey, you don't understand. I lost my child three weeks ago. You were the answer to my prayer. You never know when you're going to be the answer to somebody's prayer, right? Today, I have an answer to one of my prayers, and I'm excited about it. And I told her she is the face of God for me today. 
Thank you, guys. I'm sorry. Now I'm all emotional and everything. But hey, I teach in my healing classes. It's okay to be emotional, right? We all have this thing that we can't cry and we can't show our emotions. Well, that's crazy. We should be able to embrace the love that's out here for us. So thank you, guys. Thank you.